Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and I have a Mustang that has some changes done to it that's gonna definitely separate it from the rest of the ponies in the corral. This is that all new Return 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1. But before we get into our shaker style hood of a muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here, the Mach 1. It's been around since 1969, if you could believe that. Really taking the Mustang platform to a new level. The Mach 1 disappeared from the lineup, came back, and then now it's made a mighty return. Now there's been a lot of upset with the Mach 1 and a lot of the Ford aficionados, especially the Mustang diehards that bleed blue, they say they want a shaker hood. Well, unfortunately, Ford said that that was not the best route to go. So here at Dream Giveaway Garage, they went ahead and made some modifications to their Mach 1 to see if it really is meant to be. Is the current gen Mach 1 supposed to have that shaker hood? Is this the way it's supposed to come from the factory? Let's dive into our 2021 Mach 1 that we have here and see does it have the right mods and is this exactly the way Ford should have done it from the factory up in Michigan. Let's go ahead, dive in our Velocity Blue muscle car and find out. Right off the bat, Mach 1 has styling, has some bits from the Bullet Mustang, which is discontinued, the Shelby GT350, which is also discontinued, and the current GT500. Now, starting at the front of the business, like we pointed out before, you're gonna get a unique front fascia. That means you're gonna get this metallic, flat gunmetal gray color, Functionality is the name of the game in those corner vents. You'll also notice that flat black front splitter unique to the Mach 1. So there are some unique touches to it. Now, as we come across that grill, one thing we showed you in part one was that Dream Giveaway Garage added those inner fog lamps, tying it perfectly with the 1969 Mach 1, which is part of this particular giveaway. You have that gunmetal gray flat metallic of a Mustang on the grill. This grill is unique to the Mach 1. A little bit of gloss black, dropping our way down, a little bit more gloss black, but nothing too heavy. And you can see how that splitter really extends out to get the air, to stop air from going underneath the vehicle, get it into the heat exchangers, cool things down, and give us downforce. Now, when we get up onto that hood, what do we have? They went ahead and went with a flat black wrap tied it in nicely. Now, a lot of times you would see the wrap go all the way to the edge of the hood. They decided not to do that. Tying it in with their classic Mach 1 to keep the stripes the same, they followed the body line. And I really think that that accentuates the sexiness of the hood. You got your two heat extractors, and then look what we have up top. That is that functional shaker hood. Now, if you're wondering who makes that, it's actually produced by Classic Design Concepts. And the way that it's styled really ties in perfectly to the original, even that 2003, 2004 return of the Mach 1. And yes, you'll see we have that full shake, shake fun functionality, but definitely let me know right now in the comment section what you're thinking about not only the wrap, but also how that functional hood scoop is now attached to our Mach 1. Now coming around the bend, on your standard Mach 1, you're gonna get 19 inch wheels. Dream Giveaway Garage wanted to up the ante, so they went with these beautiful dark gold 20 inch wheels. They're forge line wheels, flow formed, gonna give us nice lightness, extra strength. I think the color really matches this thing perfect, especially with the side stripe that they added, that Mach 1 classic side stripe. But going with a 20 inch wheel, wrap with those Continental tires, those Connies that are gonna keep us stuck to the ground. And if you're wondering, well, what do we got up front? You're looking at 245 up front, 35 series sidewall, that massive six piston caliper. Brembo gonna clamp down. Those are bits and goodies from the parts bin. And that's why a lot of people are saying, hey, this is a parts bin special. But I really think that driving wise, it has a unique personality. And definitely now with that hood scoop, looking massive out of that hood, you're definitely gonna get a little bit extra something something. Now coming down the side of the vehicle, there is that Mach 1, that classic 1969 Mach 1 side stripe. You can see how it kind of ties into those dark gold wheels, very nicely done. You're gonna have the gunmetal metallic 
flat black gray finish on the mirror caps. They went with that specific with the Mach 1. You have your standard Mustang side sill that extends out. And then out back, yes, we have 20 inch wheels, but out back you're gonna get 305s on the width. So that's more rubber to meet the road, that beautiful metallic gold finish. And Forge Line makes a phenomenal wheel, not only style, but also strength. The big zonk for me, no Brembo's out back. If this is supposed to be the most track focused Mustang GT platform ever, where's my Brembo's? I guess I gotta go get some like we did the hood scoop. But as we're wrapping around the rear, those 305s, there's that gunmetal flat gray trunk lid spoiler to tie in all the flat gray from front to back to side. They went ahead and did the Mach 1 side stripe and the Mach 1 in the center looking good. I'm so glad that they took the Mach 1 off the fenders. I think that was too much Mach 1. This I don't mind so much dropping our way down. You could see that rear diffuser that's right off of the GT500. Large, massive exhaust. And remember, that's that active exhaust. Make it louder, piss everybody off. Or you can make it quieter to keep the peace. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it rip. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop that shaker hood and see what's happening on our Mach 1. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on this Mach 1. You could see the massive opening now that we have to allow that shaker hood to come through. Great style really cool to have that tie in with the pass and then as we drop down there is that shaker hood scoop attachment and like i said the way they styled it really ties it in with the classic mach 1 also the functional side and if you're wondering well how is it functional let me show you air is going to come in here it's going to go into our little tube down our tube and right it's going to dump right into that air box where we have that cone filter from ford that shows the functionality. You still got the massive strut tower brace underneath the shaker hood. We do have, remember, the intake from the Shelby GT350 that was also used on the bullet and horsepower. Obviously, we have not dynoed it with the shaker hood scoop, but stock, a Mach 1 has 480 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. It's got that Tremec six-speed manual transmission, or you could go 10-speed automatic. Zero to 60, if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, about 4.1 seconds. Quarter mile goes by at 12.4 seconds at 116 miles an hour. Top speed on the Mach 1 is almost 170 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 3,844 pounds. Why don't we go ahead? It's about that time. Let's fire up our Shaker Hood Mustang Mach 1, see it shake and hear its roar. We're in this Velocity Blue Mustang Mach 1 with the shaker hood. Should that have been the way it came from the factory? I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. But I know you're probably saying to yourself right now, Joe, I'm in love with this muscle car. I want one. How much is it? Well, stock from the factory, it's around MSRP $53,000. The great news is you could win this one and the classic original Mach 1 from Dream Giveaway Garage. Go to their website. If you spend $25 or more on tickets, use the promo code Rady's Rise and you'll get double tickets. And just so you know, I am not paid to say that, nor do I make any money off of any of the tickets. Dream Giveaway Garage wants to show their love to you guys, the Rady's Rise family members. But let's see if you were to win this or if you were gonna go out and buy one, let's go to the door panel and see what you get. Very clean styling. Some people will say that it looks a little dated now, but to me, the contrast stitching, the way that they did simple black with the silver, soft touch material, it still is working. And that's what the Mustang has always been about, just simplicity 
when it comes to certain parts. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, you'll see that Mach 1 chassis code number that is unique to our specific Mach 1. You're gonna get the performance gauges from the GT Performance Pack Level 1, so you got oil pressure and vacuum. I am gonna zonk this. It would be nice if that was oil temperature. Of course, you get the eight inch infotainment system with the SYNC 3 system, your AC control, dual climate, but the big news is, is that Tremec six speed manual from the Shelby GT350, one of the best transmissions ever to be created, and you're getting the cue ball shift knob from the Bullet Mustang, which is another nice touch. Soft touch material, two cup holders, there is your Mustang key fob, it would have been nice if it said Mach 1, soft touch. You do get, they're gonna throw, Dream Giveaway's gonna throw a box of Twinkies, or at least try to get a box of Twinkies in there for you. And then the seats, these are the optional Recaros. One piece back, nice bolstering with the leather, looking really great. Manual seat controls for the passenger and for the driver. Plenty of headroom, but why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Mach 1. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You are gonna get that Mach 1 specific sill plate with the checkered flag from the factory, looking good. And then the bigger news is, this one has hashtag save the manual, the three pedals, clutch, brake, and throttle, all aluminum, would have been nice. I'm gonna zonk that dead pedal. Would have been nice to have an aluminum dead pedal. Seats are manual, but look at how they hold me into place, just like a mother holds a newborn baby. That's how I feel. What I am gonna zonk though is the steering wheel. They should have done something a little bit more racy for the Mach 1 at least the Mach 1 badge and maybe a flat bottom steering wheel. And then the dash, you are getting that 12.3 inch digital display with the different modes that you could toggle through, which makes it very versatile and gives you all the information that you need. We're not gonna talk about the back seat. Definitely not talk about the trunk. I don't give a damn about the trunk. We got a manual transmission. We got a shaker hood. We got 373 gears. Let's go. All right, guys, we love Dream Giveaway Garage. We're in this 2021 shaker hood equipped Mach 1. Here we go. On throttle, baby, yeah! Nice. I tell you right now, this thing hums even more. I love seeing that shaker hood. Having the 20 inch wheels, more rubber meat in the road. 305's out back. So we have more rubber to meet the road, really allows you to just get the power to the ground. And this Tremec six speed is really worth the price of admission. This is one of the many reasons why I love my Shelby GT350 and why the Mach 1 is definitely a notch up on a Mustang GT performance pack level one or performance pack level two because they don't get the Tremec. Pull away, nice engagement. I love seeing that shaker hood. Hearing that V8 rumble, you can hear a little bit more air induction noise, but here we go, on throttle. Yeah, look at this. I tell you, the Mach 1 really is a unique vehicle in the sense that it is the Mustang GT platform pushed to that upper limit. And I know everybody, at least a lot of people are going to call this a parts bin special it really is more than just that it is the sum of all of its parts and it's got some really really amazing parts on it from a few different great mustangs and why does that necessarily have to be a bad thing but i'm telling you what they've done by adding the shaker hood and the other touches especially the flat the satin flat black hood really just makes it perfect but this thing is just, I love driving it. I love the Tremec in this thing. You got the automatic rev match downshift, which you don't get in the GT350. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go, yeah! you man i know a lot of people are waiting for a redesign mustang to show up but the current platform we still have gets the job done those 373 gears i love the automatic red match downshifting they did a great job on the tuning of it <sighs> tons of fun 
just so easy to hit third gear. You know, I think back, like I've said before, you know, back in, in the in the 90s with my buddies with all their Fox body Mustangs, hitting third gear was a bear, man. Hard throw, here we go. Yeah. Look at that, third gear. Nice. <sighs> I tell you, it still makes my heart pitter patter. And somebody's gonna be a very lucky camper to win the classic Mach 1 and this Mach 1. And this is one of one with the Shaker Hood. This is the first time that the Shaker Hood is being done on a current generation Mach 1. Those nice six piston calipers, gonna clamp down those rotors and get you shedding the speed so nicely. You can cruise, go to your local car shows, your cars and coffee. All right, guys, one more time for you. Definitely one more time for me. Oh, here we go. Yeah. On the brakes, feeling good, downshifting. Nice. A little chirp from third. Look at this, look how balanced it is. That's what I'm telling you, man. The Mustang chassis is still very well put together, gives good feedback front to back, and I'm telling you, with this gearbox, it is amazing. All right, guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. Oh, right, here we go. Nice. Shaker hood shaking away, baby. Feeling good. Nice. Look at this. Woo! Yeah! I tell you, amazing, amazing experience. Definitely just taking my hats off to everybody at Dream Giveaway Garage. Boomer and everybody did a phenomenal job. We're going to get back there, wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. <laughs> it's been another one of those magical Mustang Mach 1 kinds of days here at Dream Giveaway Garage. Want to thank Lori, Boomer, Chris, the whole crew getting us access to their Mach 1, this part two. Going to be interesting to see what you guys think of it. Let me know right now in the comment section, is this the way that Ford should have built the Mach 1 and sent it out the doors of their factories to us car enthusiasts. Let me know in the comment section, do you like the mods that were done to this Mach 1? What would you want to change? Put that in the comment section. But if you want to keep seeing magical muscle cars here on Rady's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section about that. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the first link, get yourself some Rady's Rise merch. Click that second link, become a Rady's Rise Patreon member. Got to give it up to the magical muscle behind the camera. It really isn't magic. It's hard work. Lori's doing the business. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.